show you guys how to do some DIY room decor. Um, a lot of this is like Tumblr-esque, Pinterest, um, Urban Outfitters kind of inspired. So I hope you guys like the video and let's get into it. The first one I'm going to show you to make is to make this Polaroid calendar for your wall. So the first thing I did was go to PickMonkey.com and then I went onto Google and found an image I wanted to use for each month. So for January I just scrolled through and I finally just found one of Central Park with it snowing and I thought just I just really like this picture for January. So then on top of PicMonkey, I go to Design, and then I click on Picture, whatever picture I want to use. So I click on that picture, and then I go over to Overlays or um, Frames, and I go to Polaroid, and I just click on Polaroid. And then Polaroid makes it like rotated, so then I just unrotate it, so I make it at 50%, so it's right in the middle. And then saturation, I make the effect at 50 so that it's not like full Polaroid color. It's just like 50% of the normal color. So then after that is done, I will apply that effect. And then I went to cropped because when you add a frame, it makes like a border around it. So I took away the border so that it was just the Polaroid picture. So then after you save this, I just went to Word and made it to where it was a, like, sideways layout. And then I put two of the pictures I made. So this was January and February's picture. And I just make them the same size. So here's me trying to make them the same size. And I ended up making it 7 by 5 so that it's a little bit longer. Um, it just fits the calendar portion better. So if that's that's me trying to tamper with the sizing but I finally came up at 7 by 5 you can make this however you want but I just found that was the best for putting the calendar part on it so for this next part it's really not that hard it's just a lot of like trial and f trying to see which it which fits better so I start by adding just the days of the week and then I made another text box and just started putting in the days and I just pulled up a calendar on my phone and looked at it while I was doing this and then I did the month in a bigger size right off to the side. Um, this was kind of hard so maybe if you found an easier way, this was just the easiest way I could find. Of course you could go on Google and just get like a small map off of map. A small calendar off of there and use that but this one worked really well. done it will look like this I just used taped and taped it to my wall and then I put fairy lights around it because I just like the look of that and I had some extra so here is each picture I use um, if you want I will try to find each picture and link it below so look for that this next one's really easy and it's just all I need is coffee and mascara so of course I just went to pick monkey again and this one you go to design and it just brings up this and then I made it to where it was nice and big so I could print it on a normal printer page. And then I went to text and just found two texts I like. One text for the all I need is. And then the second text for the words coffee and mascara. And I actually made the all I need is white because I painted my cork board black. Which I lost the footage to but it is black. Um. I did paint my cork board black, but that's really easy. Um, so the text is white on the actual one, but on here I just made it black.
print that out, I just Mod Podge this onto the cork board. Again, I said I painted it, and again, I added fairy lights just because I like the look of that, and I put it on a small black table in my room. 